Hey everyone, today's topic is going to be glad you made it again. Think about that for a minute. Everyone, if you like the content, please subscribe. So, two years ago, this evening, I created my first video ever on Narc Daily, and it was a, a video very appropriately titled, it was called Glad You Made It. The link for that video will be in the description below, and on top of that, the March 31st video from 2022 will also be linked there, and that's called the Year of Growth, I believe. I'll continue to post these March 31st videos every year as the channel grows and the awareness gets out on the narcissistic abusive cycle. But two years ago today, I was in my house and they were some of the darkest days of my entire existence. I won't go into all the details, but I'll just gloss over a few of them. However, each and every one of them deserves their own part in a lecture series, which one day I will do. It was during some of the dark days, if you get my point, there was a pandemic about. Many of us were working from home. Many of us were isolated in different ways. Many of us did not know what was going on on the planet, coupling the fact that I couldn't walk. I had a detached retina. I had been abandoned. I had been left for not good. I was left alone, let's put it that way, discarded. And that was five months before I began the channel, which was March 31st, 2021. You see, March 31st, 2021, that's when I finally stood up and said, okay, I've practiced radical acceptance. I understand what I was up against. I knew that things weren't going to improve. And I also knew that I had a long, long road ahead of me. Having said all these things, it was about 10 o'clock at night. I threw on a black shirt, buttoned down. Didn't even grab a shower or a shave. I looked very scruffy, but I took action and I let the camera roll. And with one take, just like this video will be one take, I let you all know in the community, all the people, the members of the community and the planet that I would not quit, that I would forge through this, that I would become a go-to place for narcissistic abuse awareness. And I've done just that and more. Doing this, it takes a lot of courage, I will tell you right now. It takes a lot of fortitude, it takes a lot of belief, but more importantly what it takes is a knowingness, a commitment to give back to people, in this case my community, and the world who perhaps do or don't know what narcissistic abuse is. See, I didn't know what it was. I had no idea. I got my first light bulb moment a couple weeks after I was discarded, but I didn't know what I was up against. I had no idea. That's for a whole different part of the lecture series. The point is, is March 31st, about 10 o'clock at night, I decided to take action, to pick myself up and create a video. Now, if you play that video and watch it carefully, you'll notice the pain in my eyes. You'll notice the wanting to get the word out. You'll notice the wanting to heal. You'll notice the wanting to not be where I was. And through dedication and commitment and devotion, courage, perseverance, resilience, and strength, I did it. I had countless sleepless nights. I had countless days where I didn't eat. I had dozens, perhaps hundreds of hours of crying. I reflected and introspected within myself. I processed wounds from when I was a younger individual, childhood wounds. I experienced the dark night of the soul, which I can also link below. On top of that, March 6th, which was about two months after I was discarded, 2021. That was the darkest day of my existence. That's where a day happened that I wish it didn't happen, but it did. It's where I almost didn't end up on the planet, if you can read between the lines. But there was an individual there on a phone who I was speaking with. His name was Mr. White, and he helped me. He helped me see the value that I had in myself, and he helped me get through one of the darkest days of my existence. Now keep in mind, when you're in a narcissistic relationship, every day is very taxing, very trying, very difficult. You don't know what's going on. When you're discarded, it's a whole different ball game. When you get pushed to the brink of perhaps not being on the planet, if you understand what I'm saying, that's a whole different element. But that's what happened. January 6th was a pivotal day for me. A day I will never forget, although I would like to. After that, I processed more and more. And then, sure enough, March 31st, 2021 came. And I said, okay, 
This is painful, this is difficult. It is extremely challenging. I don't have a support system. I have to pay people to take me to the hospital. And yes, I did have to pay people, complete strangers to be honest with you, to check me into a hospital for my knee surgery and for my detached retina and to actually pick me up. And the whole time I was trusting that they were gonna give me my ID, IDs back. And this is a lot of information I'm unpacking for you. The point being, I did it. And those were, were my guardian angels at the time. And what did they do? They were there for me. Have I ever seen them again? No, I haven't. I don't even know what they look like to be fair, but they were there. They said this individual, which was me, needed help. And yes, I did have to pay them, but that's the way it was. Trust isn't now what it once was pre-pandemic, let's put it that way. All these things happened. And when I took action and recorded that first video, I made a commitment to myself, to my existence, and to those of you in the community and on the planet that I will create a video each and every day, an educational video about perseverance and getting through the narcissistic abusive cycle and that you can do it. And let me tell you right now, when I shot that first video, it was challenging to say the least, to have the courage to do it, to actually be authentic and, and vulnerable and let you all knew, know what I was going through. As the videos were created, some days I created two, three, I believe there was a day I created four. It was because I had so much in my mind that I wanted to unleash, I wanted to share with people. And that was a video biography and it still is of my existence. You'll notice that virtually every video is created in a different location. Not all of them, but a lot of them are. And it's on purpose. It's meant to show you that, whereas in the very early days of my channel, I was isolated in my house and that's where I had to create most of my videos. I eventually went out into the jungle and created videos out there or in the rainforest or the forest. And then now I am creating videos out here in the woods or in a, in a different environment. This is all to show you what the growth of myself has, what I've done. And my hope is you're getting the wisdom and you're growing too. The two year anniversary of the channel is a instrumental day for me personally. It's a day that I will always remember. Very similar to October 29th, 2020. Very similar to January 6, 2021. March 31st, 2021 was a turning point for me. It's when I no longer was giving the narcissistic relationship the energy that I had given it in the past. I was giving it less and less, but I was processing things at a faster rate. And the reason why I processed things at that rate, again, was my background, given the circumstances, which is for live lecturing and live speaking. But all these things culminated in the channel's growth. And each and every day I went out during rainstorms, during the sun, during virtually any time of day, I would go out and create videos. And it was to let you all know that if I can move forward each and every day, you can too. And that the healing path, in fact, is not linear. It takes time, it takes a lot of time. But again, in your time, you will heal. If you take baby steps each and every day, insulate yourself, invest in yourself, become the best version of yourself, process the narcissistic relationship, eventually close the door on the narcissist, move forward, begin building and cultivating new relationships, find love again if you can, friendships, new businesses. All of these things I talk about on the channel, these are all experiences I had to go through. And one more time, many people ask, well, how are you doing now, Andrew? I'm gonna sneeze. And <coughs> Excuse me, <laughs> live video. Hey, how are you doing now? I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing now. Thank you for saying God bless you. Um, I'm doing well, I'm doing great. Every day is a challenge, every day improves. The healing path isn't linear. Some days are not as good as others, but I'm here and I am so much better off than I was a year ago and 10,000 times better off than I was two years ago. And tomorrow will be better, it really will. Because with time and with processing and with your understanding that perhaps you were a people pleaser, a yes person, you couldn't say no, and all the things I mentioned on the channel that you will get through this. You will, I'm living proof. Play any video you want to, specifically the ones I link in the description below, you'll understand the amount of change that an individual can go through if you really put your mind to it. And remember, where you place your attention is where you place your energy, so do so, if not now, when. This part of the video, I wanna say a big thank you to all of you in the community, people that have been with me from the beginning, people that have come and gone and come and gone again. In other words, they stopped in when they wanted a little refresher or to say hi to the people in the community. 
people that have cultivated and built friendships in the community. And I read virtually each and every comment. I think it's amazing the abundance and the beauty of you all in the community. There are very few communities on YouTube that have the love and the empathy and the affection and the positivity that my community has. And I'm grateful for that because this is a safe space. It's a safe space for you to share your experiences, to gain wisdom, to understand that you are not alone and that you too will get through this. And each day you will have challenges. And each day, if you accept those challenges and meet them head on and process things, it will make tomorrow a better day. That's the path. That's what we all must do. But to all of you in the community, each and every one of you who have, who have watched one video, to all of my thousand videos, thousand plus videos, the shorts, the community section, everything, I wanna say a big thank you, sincerely from the bottom of my heart. If I could have known two years ago that I would be creating this video right now with these different bells ringing than the church bells that used to ring where I lived in Costa Rica, and I would be blessed with all of you, I would not have imagined it, I sincerely wouldn't have. But again, I am here and so are you. And those bells rang in Costa Rica and they now ring here where I am. It doesn't matter what country I'm in. It doesn't matter what time zone I'm in. I am part of the community as are you. And remember the tagline says, you are not alone. Let's go back to that for a moment. When I created the channel, you can tell I was alone. And I said, no longer do I want to be like this. I had no choice, I had to still be in my situation I was in, but I said, if I can help even one person out and let them know that I'm fighting through this and you can too, and that you're not, you are not alone, it will help that person out. And I sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, believe it's created a ripple effect throughout the planet. I really do. Many other channels are incredible on YouTube about narcissism. There are so many channels out there now that you can get wisdom from. Do I consume other channels these days? No, I don't. Do I create my videos from the bottom of my heart and give you everything I have? Yes, I do each and every day. Were there channels that I leaned on way back then to help me out? Absolutely. I took from those channels what I could to educate myself and then I said, I took, I got what I needed from them and now I have my own experiences to live off of, meaning to share with the community and that's what I do. Again, I will say to you, if you're part of the community and you've subscribed, God bless you, thank you. If you haven't, you should do so. If neither, or both are on your list. Also remember, paying it forward is instrumental. Perhaps you can't create a video, but perhaps what you can do is share it with an individual who could use it. That's what you can do, and you can help other people who don't know what they're up against. That's a beautiful thing, that's a good thing. Understand that each and every one of us are facing challenges. Each and every day is different. Each and every day, we have new obstacles to overcome. And each and every day, we need to believe in ourselves. So again, before I close this video out, a big heartfelt thank you to everybody in the community. My hope is you've gained value from this channel. My hope is that you've learned, you've grown, you're teaching if you can, you're becoming the best version of yourself, you're moving forward. Give yourself a big pat on the back. I am sending you a huge virtual hug right now. If you've made it this far in the video, that means you're committed. It means you've either healed or you are well on the healing path. This channel is meant for spirituality for growth, for positivity, for empathy, for abundance, for encouragement, and for commitment and dedication. I will tell you now, as I told you two years ago, that I will not stop creating videos. I will continue to do the best I possibly can. There's the train. Each and every day, I will give you everything I have. Each and every day, as I discover new light bulb moments or discover new ideas or things of the past, I will share them with you because my hope is you're getting the wisdom. You're using it to better yourself. You're using it to become stronger. You're using it to galvanize yourself. Remember this, many times on the healing path, you will think to yourself, I can't go on another day. I just can't do it. This is just so challenging. What, what's going on here? You need to continue to persevere. You need to go through the dark night of the soul, perhaps. You need to go, go through the barrage of people you will lose post-narcissistic relationship. You'll have to understand that there are flying monkeys and that many people don't have your best interest at heart. Those are all things perhaps you've gone through or you will go through. Other things you'll have to understand are that you are the priority. You come first, second, and third. And that many people, whereas they perhaps don't believe in you, you need to believe in yourself. I certainly do. I always have and I always will. So again, a big thank you from the bottom of my heart to everybody in the community. 
everyone who has shared a video, everyone who will share a video, everyone who watches the video when they wake up in the morning or says goodnight to me as you guys go to bed. Maybe you listen to my videos before you go to bed. I hear that frequently. No matter what you're doing, if you're acquiring wisdom, God bless you. I think it's beautiful. That's the purpose of the channel. Remember, take what you can from the videos. Leave the rest. You have your own path. I have my path. We are all on the path. We are all headed in the same direction, just taking different footsteps. So you may be in front of me on the Healy Path. Perhaps you're behind me. I am walking right with you. I can tell you that right now in my spirit, in my soul, in my aura, in my energy. And I want you to know one thing before I close this out, you are not alone. Perhaps your relationship ended yesterday. This is the first video you're ever watching. I was there, I know what it's like. Continue to know that you will get through this. I am living proof. So guys, understand this. This is a message of gratitude, of happiness, of unbelievable realizations that through community, we can all achieve something that we could not achieve alone, which means taking action, investing in ourselves and understanding that we have so much to offer the planet. Each and every one of us do. We have unique talents and skills. We need to unleash these for the positiveness and the betterment of the planet, if not now, when? Guys, this is the longest video I've ever created on the channel, so I'm gonna end it now. I wanna, again, before I go, I wanna say thank you very much. Sincerely, I love you all each and every one of you. God bless you. Please drop comments below. Pay it forward. Continue to invest in yourself and know that you too will get through this. My goal through coaching is to get you on the other side of the bridge, to get you to my side, the healed side, the side where you, where you are indifferent. You're at the pinnacle of indifference. You don't care about the narcissist. You don't care about the relationship. It's all done. It was a learning lesson for you. And now you've come through the fire. You've risen through the ashes like a phoenix and here you are. So guys, that's the video. I will get back to a normal video tomorrow. This is a very special celebration for me, a very special video and an extremely special day for me. Guys, no matter where you are on the planet, you are not alone. Remember that. I love you all. I hope you liked the video. I loved doing it from the beautiful Carolinas. This is Andrew. Namaste. Continue to believe in yourself. Continue to move forward each and every day and continue to follow your dreams. You can do anything you put your mind to it. You really can. You must believe in yourself. Begin now. I love you all. God bless you. And I know it's a long video, but I am so grateful to be able to hear, to shoot this. I love you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, bye. And again, thank you very much. Bye.